what would be the value of having friends, right? If you don't see the value in it, if you there's no value in going out and getting drunk or going to the ball game or watching football and cheering for the team with a bunch of guys, uh, then don't do it. Yo, Elliot. Elliot, long time follower and appreciate all the value you've been providing in my life. My question is probably an easy one. I don't have many friends and don't see the need to foster many relationships. I have my wife, my daughter, and my dog. I visit family members about once a week and this fills all my social needs. I usually prefer just to stay home, take care of my house, and work on my craft. Do you view this as a weakness? Should I be more fostering of relationships? Thanks again for your help and hope to be on the call. So uh, this reminds me of one of, the, one of Dan Kennedy's sayings. You guys know I love Dan Kennedy. He, you know, I refer to him quite a bit in terms of marketing, business, but also in life. One of the things he would say is, what is the value in it? He said, before you do anything, before you get engaged in anything, before you plan on doing something, you have to ask yourself, what is the value in this? And as a businessman, he was a staunch businessman. When he said, what is value in it? He, it to him, it was always bottom line. He's like, okay, how's this going to pad my wallet? <laughs> right? It was always that for him. But you can also have various values. You know, there's different values. You, you don't all have to be money. When you ask yourself, what would be the value of having friends, right? If you don't see the value in it, if you there's no value in going out and getting drunk or going to the ball game or watching football and cheering for the team with a bunch of guys, uh, then don't do it and have no judgment about it because you, there's no value in it for you. And I'm not saying that there's no value in friends. I'm saying there's no value in it for you. Everybody is tuned into their favorite radio station, WWIFM. What's in it for me? WIIFM, that's it. What's in it for me, right? Even, even relationships. Bro, don't let the people fool you into believing that there's some virtue in being selfless in this way. Nobody's truly selfless. Everybody is self-serving. And if it doesn't serve you, then why? Why, right? There really is nothing for you to do. And, and I don't perceive it as a weakness at all. In fact, uh, I think my dad is, is a very strong man. And my dad does not like people. He has no friends. He even like, uh, I think he like traumatized me as a kid because he would tell me the same thing. He said, don't have no friends. You have no friends. You only have acquaintances. He used to say that because my dad has this thing about loyalty. And he's like, most people are fake. Most people are just going to do you wrong. Most people just want you to do stuff for them, right? Because most people are tuned into themselves. And for the most part, if they can't use you in some way, then most of the relationships are about using you, right? What can I use you for? And you got to ask yourself that too. What am I using you for? Why are you here? What are we doing? What is this about? How is this moving my life forward? Right? What is this about? And most relationships are not, are not of any, uh, they don't offer any real value in that way. So, but not everybody feels the same way. And I'm not saying this is an answer for everyone. Some people who are more extroverted, the value that they have in their relationship is that people lift them up. They need somebody to lean on, to suck on, to, to, to get their energy from. These, these are like extroverted people. They get, they get energy from other people. And so for them, it's appropriate. It's fine. That's the way they live their life. They want to be around people. They love being around people. And that's okay. But I wouldn't have a judgment about it if I were you. You, you even to ask me if I view it as a weakness is it doesn't even matter what I think. If there's no value in something, there's no reason to do it, right? Regardless of the judgment about it. So uh, I think you're doing the right thing. And another thing my father would often talk about is how family is first. And you got your daughter, you got your wife, you got your dog, and you meet your family members. Who else do you need? Who else do you need? You really don't need anybody else, right? It's good for men to be around other men to challenge us. And I think if you if you really want to, to, to like, because men are not born, masculinity is not born in a vacuum. And masculinity is not born around women. 
masculinity is grown in the presence of masculinity of men men only grow when they're around men and so to grow as a man i think there's great value in maybe joining a sport right maybe just like do a brazilian jiu-jitsu or um you know get a weightlifting partner like we're not friends we're just weightlifting partners we challenge each other in the weight room right you go to the gym you work out together those are the things that those are the relationships with men that i've always valued most is if we're training together if we're uh in a sport together um it's not the it's not the side conversations it's not the time you know after the game it's when we're doing what we're doing and it's good to be around other men doing stuff and so there are so many cool sports man i was looking into Moss wrestling. I might start doing some moss wrestling. Uh, they got arm wrestling. Of course, I love strongman. So, you know, if you're really wanting to, uh, you know, iron sharpens iron. You want to be around some iron? That'd be a good place to begin. Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, me and my team will get back to you the details to see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.